Hello and welcome to the EV Nets YouTube channel. My name is Emily. I am based in Orlando, Florida, and I have a small business called EV Nets where I create lately home decor and small items to decorate your home that are handmade with eco friendly materials by me. However, this year I have really delved into making personal garments. I am wearing the Easy Teasy Top. It is unblocked. I literally just finished it. But today I'm not talking about that. I will talk about this when it's blocked. Today I am talking about my Shawlography by Stephen West. This was the 2021 Mystery Knit Along. It ran for most of October. I think it started like the 8th or 9th. And then um, the last clue came out the last Friday of October, whatever that date was. But I finished it the first week of November. So I wanted to talk about it because I'm just so pleased with it. I'm so proud. I think I'm gonna attempt to put it on. I, again, I live in Florida and it's, even though it's November, it was 50s and 60s, but today it is in the 70s. Um, so it's a little bit warm and I've got a big window next to me, but this is what I'm doing anyway. So yes, it's my first ever mystery knit along. It is only my second Stephen West pattern, I think. I knit the, syncopation adoration hat i believe it's called it was a brioche hat for my first ever brioche project and i love that i think i want to make a bunch more of those and but it was very time consuming so i want to make more when i have the time and this was my first ever project with fingering weight well, fingering weight yarn i used knit picks knit picks palette it is a fingering weight yarn i used six colors um i guess i'll take it off I have so there was five colors but then like you know you just throw up a six as a backup dancer oh so let me back up this is called the shawlography if I didn't mention that yet and um, yes it requires five colors and then I added a backup dancer as a six a couple times when Steven mentioned you could and I'm sure you know you could throw it in other places too so um, I have this coral color and then black I have a red, which was called Palmetto. Palmetto. I have a solid cream, gray, which was called Silver, and then I have a light pink, which was called I don't know, Ballerina or something. I think. And these loops are the bright, the light pink. So those are my six colors. I am behind me. My blanket on my couch is blue, and my pillow is blue. But I'm actually really into reds and warm colors, so. And obviously what I'm wearing is green, but I actually, believe it or not, really, really love warm colors. This Conchi coral color is my favorite color of all time. So, um, yeah, and at one point I even painted my nails with an owl. I just recently started to try and get into manicures and I got olive in June. Sorry, this is an aside, but the nail polish I painted, Stinson Sunset, was literally, I was knitting and it was the basically the exact color, so that was funny. Um, anyway, back to the shawl. It is stunning. So my color choice, I like I said, I'm very into warm colors, so I just chose, and Steven, I watched all his color videos, recommendations, kits, and he said he made his original one with like, I think it was a neon yellow and then another yellow tone and then three versions of gray or three neutral colors. So I went off that. I had several options in my cart, a more folly palette. I had just a really bright palette and then this one. And I'm very pleased I went with this one. I think it's amazing. So I am very happy with my color choice. And let's see what else to talk about. So I chose Knit Picks palette because I am focused on not spending a lot of money on yarn right now, although I do want to support as many small shops as I can and ethically sourced yarn, but I just couldn't, I couldn't fit it in my budget to knit with higher priced yarn. So um, I'll put on the screen how much it costs. I think it was like $2.99 or something per ball and each gram is each ball is 50 grams, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, and I do have quite a, I did have quite a bit of yarn left over before the border. I had one whole ball of every single color left. So if you don't do the border, you'll have a, you'll have, you can just get away with 50 grams of each color. I mean, depending on your gauge, of course. I, speaking of, watched the video, when I was watching Stephen West's like tutorials when the pattern came out, 
He knits so loosely, so I got nervous. I knit loosely as I get comfortable in a project, but when I'm learning new stitches and, and just learning things, I tend to knit relatively tight. Um, so I went up two needle sizes from the pattern. I think it was a four millimeter I worked with. Again, I'll put it on screen if I'm wrong. And I'm pleased with I did that I did. You can't tell here, but when I took pictures outside, the light was behind, so you could see the light shining through. So it kind of looked a little loose gauge, but I'm happy with it. It's not super dense and I like it, but again, it's my first ever shawl, so I don't even know much about shawl gauge or what it's supposed to be, but this is, I like it, so I think that's all that matters, right? Um, so you start with clue one. This is clue one, this is section one. This, I think, is my favorite part of this shawl. This black part with all the color, the black main color, and then all the colors. I think that's gorgeous. Then these slip Vs were really fun. And I'm trying to remember where the clue, I don't know. I think just this and this was clue one maybe. And then, I don't know. I'm not gonna say what clue, I guess I'm not gonna say what clue because I don't remember. But these i -cord loops were a, I'm gonna swear, they were a bitch. I did not have fun making them. They took me an entire day because I kept going back and forth and putting it down. And I didn't like it, to be frank. So the eye curl loops were not my favorite. Then this was pretty simple. These wedges are interesting for some 3D effect. These triangles are pretty. I've said it multiple times on Instagram and probably in the other videos, but the red and the black are my high school colors. So I don't love when they're next to each other, but it's okay, the triangles are fun. These bobbles are unique. Wow, so they are like little eye cords, but I enjoyed them more than these eye cord loops down here. Then these wedges, so easy and simple, but oh my gosh, there's a wedge on this side and a wedge on the other side. They took me forever to do. I don't know, just a lot of knitting, lots of knitting for that wedge. And then this is brioche. There was a non-brioche option if you aren't into brioche right here. Then this is another favorite part of my shawl, these X's. Then finally here is the border. The only thing I modified was adding a six color and I slightly modified the border. So Stephen recommends doing your border in order and just repeat the same order the whole time. I definitely did not do that. I just almost randomly, but then kind of not. I didn't want to have the same repeats, so um, I made sure as best I could not to repeat the order too many times. So it's a little bit random. And secondly, these, they're like little scallops here. I found that on a project page on Ravelry because I wasn't too enthused with just, it was just the border for the pattern is just no scallop, it's, it's smooth. And I did love that. I thought this is such a beautiful shawl that kind of is a little dull in my opinion. So I guess some other people had felt that way as well and this was the border that called to me. Actually if you saw one of my like vlog vi videos, you will see that I did do the original border, probably up to here or so, before I ripped it all back because I was I didn't love it, but now I do. So I'm glad I did that. This border did take me a long time. It took me probably a week or so. Um, I'm also pretty glad I stayed on track with the clues. Mm, clue two took me an extra week, but clue three I did in like a day maybe even just a weekend. Anyway, I did it very quickly. And then clue four was the final clue. That was the border. And that took me a long time, like I said, a week. So I finished about a week late, but I'm proud of myself that it was only a week late. And I mean, late is relative, right? I, I just finished a week later than the last clue. So, or then was intended, but who cares? It's all about embracing your own pace, Stephen West says. That's what I really like to say, yes, don't stress. Even if you mess something up in his, I highly recommend watching his tutorial videos. They were so clear, so helpful. A lot of these stitches and techniques were new to me, but he makes it so clear. So watch those. And then if you mess up, he's still like, say yes, don't stress, knit two together somewhere, add a couple somewhere. If your stitch count is off, whatever, whatever. And my stitch count was off towards the end. 
I think I was about 10 in 10 stitches short or maybe even more down here at the border but whatever it looks perfect to me so I'm cool with it I love it so so much how many times can I say that in this video right I don't really know how to wear a shawl and I live in Florida so I don't really know how often I will wear it but I will say I keep it I do like to keep it on my couch um, I don't usually keep it on the back because my cat likes to sit up here and well, this blanket I'm cool with like getting yarn ends pulled out I'm not ready for that to happen to this so I keep it on the couch to look at when I'm awake and then when she's around I put it away and I do like to wear it though because sometimes it's chilly in the house a little bit and it's just cozy to keep around me so yeah it's just I don't know that's why I'm wearing it right now we'll see I will hopefully will be going back to Illinois where I'm from my parents still live at some time this winter and I will be bringing this for sure and one of my favorite hats that I've made and never had a chance to wear is also red so the pairing will be beautiful um yeah I don't know what else to say about it except I love it I highly recommend it I will probably be doing another mystery knit along next year I love Stephen West's color palette I love the crazy techniques um I just love the vibe I love the vibe I love the community I love the mystery I think it's just stunning so I'm so pleased with it we'll insert finished object videos and I really don't have to think I have think I have much more to say except about how amazing it is 10,000 more times so I will stop doing that for now and just keep it to myself but it's beautiful it's my most exciting favorite thing I've made so far I love it so much where I'm at. All right. Have a great day, guys. Oh, you can follow me on Instagram at EB Knits by Emily for my personal makes. EB Knits is my small biz. And subscribe if you're interested in these kind of videos. I have the finished object videos like this one, and about every two weeks I post a vlog so you can catch up on my making and my whips. So, all right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, month, year. Bye, friends.